Well, hello guys. We're gonna make us a little ranch video here. Uh, as you can see, we are in the middle of nowhere. This is one of my uh, wells. It was a windmill. We took the windmill down because we were having some issues with it. This tank, I just kind of want to touch on this tank. This tank is old. Uh, it's really old. And as you can see, it doesn't have a concrete apron around it because when they poured this tank, they didn't do that kind of stuff like we do now. Um, the floor that's under it is all just sandstone rock that they laid out and they put concrete over it. Um, and it's a big tank. It's a really big tank. You can see those black patches. We've been... We patch this thing all the time. Um, and this this tank has been like this since I got this. Uh, I This is on the part of some ground I purchased uh, several years ago. And uh, the people before me um, who were leasing this ground didn't do anything to stop it from eroding away. Uh, this is actually family ground. Um, and it was leased out to some other people, and they just didn't do anything. Uh, I kind of wanted to show this. Like, this tank, like, this steel was just, like, folded over. It's really kind of crazy. Um, this is the only tank that we have that's ever done this. And it's it's just this section right here, actually. Um, it, But it's really just kind of eating away. Lots of holes in it. Uh, tank shot. You can see there's there's rock in there, and it's just barely barely covered with concrete. But to get back to this, so there was an old wood windmill tower here. I I I'd seen the framework for it. Um, there's a pipe tower sitting over there. Actually, had a brand new head on it. There wasn't anything wrong with the windmill itself, except for the fact that. Uh, the water uh, there's a lot of co2 in it and so what happens is that stuff bubbles up and flakes on the galvanized pipe really bad we get just a lot of a lot of corrosion a lot of junk and it's actually not sitting here I would show it to you there was a cylinder here for the bottom of the bottom of the pipe and that junk would go to the bottom of the cylinder and it would seize and we would have to pull all the pipe and all the sucker rod at least once a year. Uh, this will kind of show you. Uh, so this is the red rod that goes up at the top, the very top of the, the actual mill itself. And as you can see, it's got a bend to it. Well, what happened is that cylinder froze and it sheared the sucker rod off and it came back down and hit and Jim broke itself over. But this is just becoming more and more of an issue. I'll kind of go show you that. Uh, so that's why we've gone to the solar. Well, uh, electric pumps are just too expensive, you know, put in power lines and stuff like that. And we're actually taking all of our submersible pumps away that are on power lines and just going back in with solar pumps. Way more cost effective. I mean, they really are. Uh, this is the panel rack I built a while back on a video. Like, not very many people saw it. Um, and yeah, so we still gotta get this put up in here. Um, just a simple little box. But we we're just making sure everything was working. I'm actually here because I'm going to weld a piece of pipe across here to put in our final piece of pipe and everything. But Yeah, that's what we're doing today. We actually got a rain last night. Um, I imagine where I'm at right here got anywhere between half an inch and an inch. So that's spectacular. Um, we really, really needed it. We got a little more rain that way. And then on the very other end of the ranch, we got like a tenth. 
but we needed rain all the way that way because I that's mainly our ranch runs like this and just haven't been getting anything. Finally got some last night. Got about two, three inches of hail in places, but the grass is so dormant anyway that it didn't freeze it down. These are actually right here. These are the legs to the old wood tower. But this is the tower. Just cut it down and had the our power company actually come out with their big, big uh, boom truck that they have now. Because our well guy is almost, you know, he's in his 70s. It's kind of hard to do it with the old rigs that we, he has. But just had them come and cut her down and set her off to the side. I've got one left, one windmill. We had one collapse last year. Took this one down. And I got one left. Um, and the head on it was still good. So the head slides up in here. And that rod that I showed you, that red rod, goes through the top there and drops out here. And then it connects that steel pipe, which is your guide rod. And that runs through. And you can see these blocks, how they're worn out. You set them in here in this tower so it keeps that rod perfectly centered. And so it doesn't rub on your pipe or anything because it'll, it'll just sit there and rub itself in two. And then you got to pull all the pipe and get it apart. So, yeah, we took this one down, sadly, but it was just costing too much money. Um, you know, it spend, you know, 1500 bucks a year on it. Well, that pays for a solar well in a year, two years. And the head on it, it was brand new, so I've got one tower left. And if the head goes out on it, that's, you know, five six thousand $6,000 just right there for the head. And I kept the head. Um, if we take that tower down and put a solar well in, which is eventually what my dad wants to do because it's on his place, and we haven't used it, then I'll sell it. They are worth quite a bit of money. Um, but yeah, so let's kind of give you a little heads up as to what to disc this morning. I'm almost done disking my stuff that I can, you know, pre pre-do so now we're doing cattle work and i was supposed to be cutting hay this afternoon but they want to wait till tomorrow so i'm doing this stuff but if you got any questions on this uh you know this this one's sitting 300 330 feet something like that 315 feet i think the hole's 330 and the pump's at 315 uh we only got three panels on it and then you just pouring water like crazy so uh, it's a pretty good deal. It's ground foss pump. That's what we use on all of our deeper ones. And we use sun pumps on all of our shallower wells. And I've got a skunk living in under here. So that's a wonderful smell all the time. But, yep, any questions, just ask.